Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve a fairly common issue that you may run into anytime you're dealing with relationships and a related item picker. Uh, what I'm referring to is every once in a while when you create a new child object or supporting object and you create a relationship from the parent, when you go and put your related item picker on your parent and then you go into your rich client and select it, you see your records properly, but when you select the record, you get the word record in the display text and not the word or value that you expect to see. Now, to show you what I'm talking about, we'll come in here into the rich client. I've just set up some uh, very generic parent and child relationship here with a color demo and a color table um, with a relationship. So first, we're going to create a new color demo. And we're going to add the relate, go through the related item picker, and we're going to pick blue. It's my favorite color. Oh, wait a minute. Why does this display record? Well, we can see that we actually chose blue, but in our related item picker, we have the word record. Well, it, like I said when I started, this is a fairly common uh, mistake that can happen, and it's also very easy to resolve. So we're going to go into our admin client, we're going to create a new blueprint, and we're going to go to our supporting object, color table, we're going to edit the business object, business object properties. The reason the error is occurring is because we do not have a public ID. So we can say use a public ID, we can create a new field or in this case we simply want the color name. We'll go ahead and create an index. Hit OK. Publish. Now that our publishing is done, we'll go into the rich client. We will reload definitions. We're going to go back to our table our parent object. We're going to create a new one and this time when we select the color blue we have the word blue and we can see that we still have the right value in our relationship. So anyhow I just wanted to share that with you. It's something I ran into the other day and it took a little bit of time to realize what was going on there uh, but you know anytime you run into that where you're seeing the word record in your related item picker you're almost guaranteed that that's going to be because you do not have a public ID on your child object. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we produce videos every week. If you have a question, you can email us, tweet us, post in the channel, and someone will either respond via email or we will produce a video with an answer to your query. Thank you.